Hi, Gareth Cheeseman. I'll be doing the presentation for Lancelot. Oh, hello. Please do. The Lancelot you. DRAM 2000 sound card system. First time I saw it, it was like, yeah, and I'm a Dutchman. But when I saw what it could actually do, do you know something? I wept, literally. Literally? Well, you know, literally as in, not really. Anyway, better check in. You are... Uh, my Ooh, name's Alan. those gums around my plums. What? Well, we're late. Yes, I had a little accident. Someone jumped the lights. It's very... Um... It's selfish. That's what it is, Alec. Alan. Yeah. Hello? Hello, 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 hello? Ah, there you are. I thought you were deaf for a moment. I am deaf, sir. What? I'm deaf in one ear. Yes, well, um, my Ford Probe is round the front and I'd like someone to park it for me. I'm sorry, we don't do valet parking. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to let this sink in for a moment. You don't do valet parking. I would have thought, basic? You'd be telling me you don't have any rooms next. Do you have any rooms? Yes. Well, then. I have a reservation. I bet you Forte does valet parking. Oh, no, sir. No, Th no, leave it. Leave it there. Just leave it, all right? I don't want to say anymore. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of this conversation. So just leave it. Right. I have a reservation for the microphone. Um, I have to register. Oh, yes, she's a beauty. A real temptress. I'm looking at her right now. Anti-lock brakes, alloy wheels, air con. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Get away from that car! Go on, bugger off! I swear, Keith is gonna crap himself when he sees it. Twat. No, not yet. One big sale and I'm in the Diamond Club. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, no, we should. Get together. Shoot a game of pool, like the old days. Yeah, listen. Just you and me, on the town, will get completely rat assed <laughs> Yeah. All right. OK. Bye, Mum. Bye. You are the best! You're the best. You're number one. You're a tiger. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go to the conference. You better take care. You better watch out if you've got long black hair. Dum, 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 Go out of your mind. You'll never know just what you might find. Does anyone know the way? There's got to be a way to Blockbuster! Yeah! I hate that song. So do I. Where to now, guy? Yonder and thence. Yes, but with our where? Thither and all. Where? On the left. Where's Dr. Phillips? Still smiling. Stuart Crump. Guy Crump. Nutters both. Where will they run? Where will they hide? Very shortly, we shall be joined by our resident criminal psychologist, God help us. Oh. I know what you call him, but for the purposes of this investigation, we will call him Fraser. <laughs> Gonna need someone to act as liaison. Now, I know you can't all be doing crowd control at Main Road. Oh, yeah. So, who is going to volunteer? Thanks very much. Uh... Briggs, sir. Briggs. You're new here, aren't you? Demi brother guy, in the next town, I know a place where a couple of guys like us could get lucky. The kind of place where you can walk in off the street, choose one you like, then do it right there. Bang on, buddy boy. A place for guys with the right answers. To the right questions. Guys who can push. The right buttons. Guys with the right kind of hair. Money. Not money. I've heard Teddy can have three of them at the same time. You know <laughs> what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. Ooh! Iguana. Potassium permanganate. Arthuraski. Stenhouse Muir. Coxix. 1973. Leonard Nimoy, Halifax. Neville Chamberlain. Isaac Asimov. Dollar. Igneous. Yehudi Menuhin. Pompeii. Oh, better than sex. Now pray tell, would you know? Jonathan Dimbleby. Skunk. Oh, sorry. Help, come in here. What for? I want to show you something. Are those the guns from the museum? 
Yes. To still work, I killed a cow on the way here and an owl with one bullet. Owl? I shot the cow and it fell on the owl. Oh, nice one. That's not all, Alf. I've got a secret plan. That's insane. You couldn't get away with it. Could you? Good evening. Hey, you've heard of Bernie in. This is Turpin. <laughs> Good evening. Evening, Tim. Guess what? You know what was the It's too today? late, Maud. No, but the thing is... It's that over, that... lady. You had your chance. Stand and deliver your coat, madam. Thank you. I don't want Porter said. I want Gypsy Kings. Has the Turpin pie got a lot of kidney in it? One high women's platter, one black best platter. And what do you want, Warren? A uh, Big Mac. You know, they only do platters. Do you think Dick Turpin had a dog? Here's your stand and deliver. Very fruity. And the drink. <laughs> oh. Are you talking to me? Cos I'm talking to you. You must be the person talking to me cos I'm the only one here. Shut up, will ya? I'm trying to concentrate. Oh. All right. Oh. Hello. Do I hear the sound of money being printed? Oh, it's very impressive, Graham. <laughs> we'll have a whole chain of these throughout the Northwest region by Christmas. Quids in, mate. They'll be cacking themselves down the Chicago rib shack. <laughs> Chic rib shack. <laughs> Graham Lambert, stand and deliver. Oh, it's <laughs> Very good, Sim. Very funny. Now. Put your toys away, scuttle back to your cubbyhole, or I'll stand and deliver you a P45. <laughs> Have you seen a turpin with a gun? Who stole my pistols? Stop that turpin! Those turpins are dead! Bleeding students. Oh. Come on! Ah! Got you! You two rag! Dr. Piper! Tim! Why did you do it, Tim? I, I didn't! I wanted to, but another turpin stole my pistols. I thought it was you! Not me! It's not my scene! Stand and deliver! Alf? It's the curator to you! Eat lead! Oh. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Hello? Clement, how are you? It's good to talk. I met you at that party. Now, I really don't like what you're trying to pull with my boy. Who is this? I'll be representing Mr Crystal from now on. Now, uh, what's this about the line-up? Well, Gerald the Sumo Magician's on a bit of an hot streak at the moment. Wrong! Sumo magic? What's that? Some bloody sumo wrestler doing magic? Yes. Right, well, I'm very unhappy about that. Well, if you've got a problem, you know where I am. I do know where you are. And I'll be round tomorrow, so be there. Ah, well, it's my office. Right. See you tomorrow at two o'clock. Goodbye. <laughs> ah! I've got the voice. All I need is a name and a disguise. I know it's you. No one ever recognised the jackal. Need a name like Clint Eastwood, but harder. Arnold Schwarzenegger? Mm. When I hear the name Arnold, I think of Arnold works down rediffusion. You know, lanky, big nose, very bad acne. Yeah, only got A fever. Yeah. Not a tough guy. What about Sylvester Stallone? Sylvester? All right, Mr. Stallone, what can I do for you? Clint. Clint? Clint Stallone, like the film star. Are you related? Well, between you and me, no. All right, Clint, I can give you two minutes. Actually, thinking about it, I would prefer it if you called me Mr Stallone. Do continue. Mr Stallone, I don't know who you are, but I'll be honest with you. You look a bit flash to me, and I'm always wary of that type of man. Oh, you know all about sports cars and casinos, but very little about hard craft. Now, I'm a very busy man, so just say your piece and be on your way. Well, it's very simple. 
You are out of order. How dare you take Mike Crystal off Fridays and Wednesdays. Mike is Mr. Friday night. And Mr. Wednesday night. You sultry little man. Now you put Mike right back in the top where he belongs right now or I'll fall on you like a fat clumsy stripper. And when I say right now, I mean right now. Mr. Stallone, I think you made your point with admirable clarity and without having to resort to foul language. I'm a plain man who appreciates plain speaking. I've noted what you've said and I think I'll be able to agree to some of your demands. Not some, all! All, I meant to say all, but in the excitement it came out of some. Clement. Yes, Mr. Sloan. You can call me Clint. Oh, thank you, Clint. Goodbye, then. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. So what's that? 75 for straight sex? 100 and I'll do oral. Do you have yourself a deal? Mm -hmm. So, you're a lady of the night, selling yourself for sexual purposes. Why not? People will always want to have sex. I know I always do. It's a good market. Go to the professionals, that's what I say. If I wanted an oil change, I'd go to the garage. They know about oil, you know about bringing people off. Not a bad life. At least you don't get screwed by the tax, man. I do. He pays cash. Nice. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> some people just want to talk in these situations, don't they? Not me. I just want to have sex. Last thing you want to do is listen to me talk about my relationship with my father or something. We didn't really get on, you see. Don't lock me in the garage, Daddy. It's cold in here. There are spiders. I want to watch the man from Uncle. Sorry about that. Um, listen, if I go off too quickly, do I have to pay extra for you to hang around until I'm ready again, or...? Uh... Well, we'll, uh, we'll play it by ear. to report a robbery. Yes, sir. Where did it happen? In outer space. Where do you think it happened? In the hotel, the bloody hotel, last night. A woman... I'm sorry, could you speak up? A woman who I, um... A, w a woman who... A w basically, I've had my wallet stolen. And what was that about a woman? Yes, a woman. A woman who I... A woman who I took to my room, you know. A woman who I... Oh, forget it! Forget it! How much was in the wallet? Ah. Uh, 200 pounds cash, Amex gold, Visa gold, Diners gold, and access. Gold? Not yet. And a Blockbusters video membership card. It's room 307. Ah, sir, you own the Ford outside, don't you? Ford Pro, what about it? I'm afraid we'll have to move it, sir. Touch that car without my permission and I'll kill you. Please don't. I have a wife and young child. Do you want a picture? I think you've made yourself look a bit of a clown. What? And by the way, how come you can hear me now? Is this some sort of selective deafness? What? Shit! Who do you choose for your partner? Is it number one, who promises to replenish your karma? Number two, who will meditate your transcendentals? Or number three? <coughs> uh, yeah. Sorted. All that remains now is the blessing. Has calf been prepared? It's 
It's a bit nippy out. It's an old joke. Oh my God, Dean Parry. <laughs> All right. Well, in case you're wondering, uh, yes, I am pleased to see you. Swat! Boy! Great bear. Great bear. Ah, oh, Bob. Reminds me of our honeymoon. What's all this stuff? Hang on. I've seen that set before in a porn video. Where's Paul? I think he's about to appear in a pornographic film. Coming too soon to a cinema near you. <laughs> so, if Great Bear's here, who did we pass in the corridor? Shit. I'll untie you. You're dead. You're deader. Well done, lads. You look lovely in blue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on, who's this? He's the brains behind the whole thing. I'm the victim! Well, he would say that, wouldn't he? Look at him. Thinking all the time. My name is Gareth Cheeseman. I'm a computer software salesman. Oh, hello, Julie. Uh, sorry, you've not been introduced, have you? Julie, butterfly, butterfly, Julie. 